Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. My guest, not only did she have cancer, but her mother died of cancer. That's why Jesse and Amy Champ developed a supernatural compassion that led to authority over cancer. Not just cancer, but all sicknesses. They are forerunners that teach how to release miracles in the glory. Are you ready for miracles in the glory? <laughs> you know, Jesse, having had a couple of meals with uh, you and Amy, it's hard to believe, but at 14, you overdosed in drugs, in alcohol, you rushed to the hospital. What did the doctor say about what was going on? Well, I came half an hour away from death. It was, it was a really close call, and it was a miracle. My father found me in time. And see, I was raised in a Christian home, Sid. Uh, you told me you were running from the call. Oh, yes. I, I Not was, walking, running. I was running. <laughs> I, much like Jonah, I was, I was running. And um, I kept running, even after my overdose. And I was in and out of jail. I was in and out of rehab. And um, 20 years old, Sid, I found myself in a jail cell. And I told the Lord, I surrender. Whatever you called me to do, I'm going to do it. And that was the greatest decision I ever made. So the judge said, I'll tell you what, you can either go to prison or you can go to this place called Teen Challenge. That's right. And you're not a dummy. I'll go to Teen Challenge. <laughs> That's what did exactly that do right. for you? After I got out of Teen Challenge, I went into a season of extended fasting and prayer. And I just began to seek the Lord uh, day after day. I would pray in the Holy Spirit. I was really challenging myself. Uh, I'd go into my prayer room and I'd pray one hour. Next day I'd pray two hours, then three hours, four hours. What happened to you? Just tell me some of your experiences. You know, the Holy Spirit visited me and it was so strong. It was so powerful. The fire of God just came on me. Uh, I remember that fire coming in my hands. It felt like the love of God. It was the overwhelming, consuming fire of God's love and I was just totally wrecked and I remember just crying out for souls and asking God to send me to the nations and then I began to ask the Holy Spirit you know teach me how to worship and the Holy Spirit started teaching me about worship and how to minister to the Lord and how to just praise and worship the Lord and as I did Sid every day that I would go into my prayer room the glory the glory cloud would build more and more each day. One day in my prayer room, I said, Lord, I want all that you have. And I was so hungry and I was so desperate in, in this season of fasting and praying and just contending. And I had this vision of this white cloud that came out of heaven and it rolled over my body. I mean, it's, it, it just, I was engulfed in this cloud. And this encounter was so powerful, Sid, so intense. I told the Lord, I said, please make it stop. I just can't handle anymore. Because I really felt like I was going to die in the presence of the Lord or be translated like Enoch. Amy, is it true? And in the meantime, she's got her own life going on. They weren't married at the time, obviously. Right. You're pretty young. You're 17. Uh, yeah. And your friends were... Uh, I guess lovingly kidding you, saying, yeah. calm down a little, you're just, you're yeah. going too far with God. Right. They, they could, why were you going so far to the point where it, it intimidated them? <laughs> well, I grew up in a small town, population 4,000 in Alabama, and so I didn't really know anything about the supernatural or miracles. And um, so, but I knew that there was something more. I knew that God had more for me and I was hungry. And hunger will take you places that nothing else can. And so I got filled with the Spirit when I was 17 years old. And my friends were just, I, I was so hungry for souls. I would go out and buy Bible and give Bibles away and um, I was praying in the Holy Ghost and they didn't know how to take that and so um, yeah they said I was um, too saved is what they would call it. <laughs> Tell me about uh, the first time you were asked to speak at the church. 
Yeah, I was um, 17 and within, I got filled with the Spirit and within a month I was asked to speak um, at my church and so I shared just what I knew, my testimony and you know people were, young people were coming forward to me weeping saying they had never felt God like that before and that's when I knew that God had a call in my life to preach the gospel. And this is happening to her and she, she's really pursuing God and she finds out actually it was a miracle of God you found out you had a rare type of cancer. Yes. Absolutely. I um, Within a year after I was filled with the Spirit, I got diagnosed with cancer. And the doctors actually said it was a one in a million chance that they would even find the cancer the way that they did. And so, I, although I didn't know anything about divine healing, um, thank God for medical doctors because I believe God heals both ways. Um, and so, I actually became a cancer survivor, but I really felt that you know, the enemy was attacking me in the very area that he had called me to, which is miracles. Not only did the devil try to take her out with cancer, she finds out her mother has terminal cancer, but she is a great woman of God, <laughs> and her husband is a great man of God. And it didn't turn out the way they expected, but because of what the devil tried to do to her, because of what the devil did to her mother, they have a passion to get you free of any terminal disease, but especially the one that begins with a C. Be right back. <laughs> Hello YouTube, Mishpocha. Mishpocha is a Hebrew word, it means family. This is Sid Roth. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. If you've been blessed by this show, please subscribe, then click the bell so you won't miss a single episode of It's Supernatural. So, uh, Jesse is on fire for God, Amy is on fire for God, and Amy has a dream about her future husband. Tell me about the dream. So just shortly after I was filled with the Holy Spirit, um, just one night I had a dream and it was so vivid. And in this dream, I was older and I was in ministry and I was married and I was in another country. And uh, we were doing missions and, and evangelism and church planning in this other nation. And I saw exactly what my husband looked like in the dream. And then he shows up speaking at the church you're at, yes. and you realize he's the one. Right. So, <laughs> lucky me. What'd you, do, what'd you do about it? Actually, we didn't actually meet when I first saw him, but I saw him and I, and I knew instantly. I, I thought I was shocked to find that he looked just like the man in my dream. I actually called my mother that night and told her about it. So later, when Jesse and I actually began dating, I called her and she said, I remember you calling me and telling me he looked just like the man in your dream. Uh, but listen to this. <laughs> They get engaged, and they both hear the same thing. Jesse, what did you both hear? After I proposed to Amy, we went back to uh, the place we were staying, yeah. and we started to hear angels singing. Yeah. We, we started to hear, hear this beautiful music, and we were trying to figure out where it was coming from. You know, but there was no TV on, there was no radio, and we both looked at each other and we knew that it was something supernatural. Right. And six months after they get married, tragedy hits her mother. She has cancer. I imagine the first thought you had was, Mom, we're going to defeat it. Yeah, right. Uh, you know, we had actually got married and started our ministry, and we were traveling and ministering and preaching, and we were laying hands on the sick, and people were being healed. And six months later, my mother gets cancer, and, you know, it was such a battle. And I had to keep traveling and, and ministering, and, um, you know, she passed away, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, after that, Jesse and I really began to seek God. I felt like it was a holy 
anger that rose up within understand. us. And it was almost like revenge on the enemy. And so we actually came into agreement and I, and I said, we're gonna seek God for the keys to seeing cancer healed. And then you had a dream. Yes. As I was seeking God, fasting and praying, um, one night the Lord answered me with a dream. And in this dream, I was actually, I saw this huge snake. It was just probably head was this size. And I was dragging the snake along by its tail. And as I was dragging it, I found a sword. And I picked up the sword and in the dream, I cut the snake's head off. And in the dream, I knew that it was the spirit of cancer. And so, you know, Jesus actually says, I give you the authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And then in Ephesians, it talks about the armor of God and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And so as I began to pray into this dream, the Lord began to give Jesse and I the keys and the revelation to the authority that we have in the word of God over sickness and disease. Well, we've had so many people since then healed of cancer, of tumors, um, but you know, one one time we were ministering in Milwaukee and the pastors brought a woman to us and she said they have uh, she has stage four cancer she's been given six weeks to live the doctors have told her to go home and get her affairs in order it's a serious situation and so Jesse and I look at each other and we just know we're going to come into agreement by faith and we're going to pray for her. And so as we laid hands on her and we prayed, we began to curse the tumors at the root. She had eight stage four tumors in her brain. And so we began to curse all eight of the tumors. And so within a week and a half, to two weeks, we actually got um, a testimony back that she had gone back to the doctors and she was 100% healed. The tumors had disappeared. The doctors couldn't explain it and she was healed. Jesse, one of the things that you operate in is the compassion of Jesus. Just tell me about a minute. Teach me for a minute Absolutely. about the compassion. <clears throat> Absolutely. I've always loved that scripture in the Bible where it says that when Jesus saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion. You know, when Jesus saw the multitudes, he saw the blind. He saw the afflicted, the oppressed, those that needed miracles. And there was a compassion that rose up in him to see the multitudes healed. And I really believe, Sid, if we can bring ourselves to that place where we can develop the same compassion, we'll see a greater release of God's power as a result. When we come back, I want you to teach on miracles in the glory and pray for an impartation of the compassion of Jesus. Call now to get Jesse and Amy Shamp's brand new book and their anointed three-part audio CD teaching set, Miracles in the Glory. This is an exclusive offer for our rich supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9596. In their powerful brand new book, Miracles in the Glory, you will discover personal testimonies of miracle encounters and solid biblical teaching concerning the glory of God to help you begin your journey towards releasing miracles in God's glory. Find out about the healing and miracle mantles from the past moves of God, including that of John G. Lake, Maria Woodworth Eder, Catherine Coleman, A.A. A. Allen, William Branham, and more. Learn how to live saturated in God's manifest presence, the place where miracles are normal. Discover the four realms of God's glory and how to access them. Learn how to access greater realms of divine encounter through prayer and worship. Be equipped to overcome every barrier you are facing. Be empowered to transform cities and regions for the kingdom of God. So many people contact our ministry after they have um, listened to our teachings saying they're experiencing the glory of God in a greater way. They're experiencing the overshadowing glory. And out of that glory, miracles 
are happening. Jesse and Amy Shamps, exclusive and anointed three-part audio CD teaching series, Miracles in the Glory, is your invitation to begin developing a supernatural lifestyle. In this anointed and exclusive three-part audio CD series, they are going to teach you how to access the glory realm and experience the cloud of glory, release the kingdom of God through love and compassion, become a carrier of the glory, begin releasing signs and wonders to others. Throughout these audio CDs, Jesse and Amy also pray special prayers for you to experience the glory of God yourself. They also release prophetic words of knowledge. Don't miss out on getting Jesse and Amy Shamp's brand new book and their anointed three-part audio CD teaching set, Miracles in the Glory. This is an exclusive offer for our It's Supernatural audience, yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9596. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9596 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. You had this vision of the glory of God. Tell me about it. Yes. Um, I was really seeking the Lord about the destiny for America. I was asking God, what do you have for America? And I had a dream. And in this dream, I saw a stadium revival in America. Stadiums filled with thousands of people. The glory of God filled these stadiums, Sid. It was just powerful. It wasn't even like a dream. It was like I was there. And I looked upon the platform, and I saw men and women on the platform, and they were ministering out of the glory of God. They weren't just ministering out of the anointing or laying hands on people, but there was a corporate anointing, a corporate glory, and miracles were easy. Tell me about one meeting, either of you, where there was this corporate glory, where miracles were easy. Pick one. I'll share one. I was in um, Fargo, North Dakota. I was on my way to a meeting, and I slipped into this vision, and I saw the hand of the Lord. And I knew that to be um, the hand of the Lord, the glory of God. Habakkuk talks about the hiding place of God's powers and the hand of God. And so the Lord spoke to me, and He said, Jesse, don't lay hands on anybody in the meeting, but just out of the glory they'll be healed. So I got to the meeting, and I just de- I, uh, declared miracles. And um, there was such an atmosphere of God's power. There was a woman that was healed from having a hernia on her side for 15 years. It instantly vanished in the glory of God. It was awesome. I would like the two of you to pray for compassion and pray for a release of miracles in the glory. Would you do that? Yes, absolutely. Father, we just thank you right now for those watching. We, We pray that the glory of God would enter into their home, that you would touch them that you would, you would heal their bodies, Lord. We pray an impartation yes. for compassion. Lord, the overwhelming fire of your love, Lord, that they would be stirred with compassion to pray for the sick and minister to the sick in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray the healing glory of Jesus to enter into their homes right now. We bind sickness. We bind disease. Father, we thank you for your cloud touching them, your healing power healing them right now. Hallelujah. Father, right now, we just thank you for your glory, that your glory would overwhelm every viewer right now. In the name of Jesus, just allow your cloud to surround them, your love and your glory to surround them. Father, we, right now we just declare miracles. Yes, Lord. We just speak to their bodies right now out of the glory, and we command their bodies to be healed right now. Yes, even I, I've even felt a heat in my right ear. Father, I thank you that you're healing ears, you're restoring deafness, mm-hmm. you're opening deaf yes. ears right now in Jesus' name. And I feel like there's a woman watching and you're wearing a red shirt and I heard the name Karen Mm. and I believe you're 36 years old and you have cancer. Father, I thank you for touching her body right now, touching Mm. Karen right now in the mighty name of Jesus, healing cancer, healing tumors in Jesus name. Yes, Lord. I believe you two could agree for anyone with cancer right now. Yes. And you pray as if you're praying for one person yes. and you command that you called it, and I agree, a spirit of cancer. Yes. 
right now, we just come into agreement. Um, everyone Thank watching you. that yeah. has cancer right now, we take authority over that spirit, and we thank you for yes. the life of God right now, just flooding into their body, the light and the light and the glory of God right now to overwhelm them and touch their bodies. We command their body to be made yes, whole Lord. in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, we, we curse every tumor right now in the mighty name of Jesus, every brain tumor, yes. every tumor right now in the name of Jesus. We command it to bow. We command it to bow to the name of Jesus. Yes. We loose the healing anointing right now. And I really felt strongly said to, to take authority over deafness. Father, we thank you right now. Those that are, that, that are battling deafness, we take authority right now over deafness. We command ears to open in the name of Jesus. We command eardrums to be restored. Father, even missing eardrums, we just speak new eardrums yeah. in the name of Jesus. We command ears to open. Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. In the glory you can have your own experience with God. If you will say this prayer, mean it to the best of your ability. I tell you, you are about ready to walk into your own experience with God. Repeat this after me, out loud, in your home in the studio audience. Dear God, Dear God I'm a sinner, I'm a sinner. Against, you, against you and you alone. Have I sinned? Have I sinned? And God, you're too good. God, you're too good. I'm, so I'm so sorry. I believe, I believe that, Jesus came that Jesus came and shed his blood, shed his blood. So, that so that you can wash my sins away. And I have a new start in life. And I have a new start in life. It's my new beginning. It's my new and now that I am clean, and now that I'm clean Jesus, come Jesus, come inside of me. I make you my Lord. I, you my Lord. I want my own experience with you. I love you, Lord. I love you. Amen.